Babichick 101. Get ready to have some fun. Day. Hey, the week's almost over. Tomorrow's Friday. Woohoo! Dermot Young Truck! I'm just kidding, guys. What's up, dudes? Dude, dudes, what it do? CK Kangaroo? What's up, guys? I want to make a shirt that says Hardcore Vlogmore. Hardcore Vlogmore. Kind of like hardcore parkour. I would comment it back with somebody, and I said that after they said y'all are hardcore vlogging or something like that. I was like, hardcore vlogmore. Does that make sense? Or is that stupid? You know that office episode where they're like, hardcore parkour, hardcore parkour. And they run around the office doing all that stupid jumping around stuff and like jumping from desk to desk without touching the ground. They're doing like parkour, but they kept going, hardcore parkour. I want to do hardcore vlogmore. How does my teeth look? Do they look good? I just got them cleaned. <laughs> Sure they don't look any different. I just had my dentist appointment, got my teeth cleaned, and gonna be wearing my sunglasses at this very moment because I have another one of those headaches, like I guess migraine-esque headache because it's like, I don't know if y'all remember when, before we moved and I got one and it lasted for like three days and it would not go away. And this is like the same exact thing, right on this right side of my head, like behind my eyeball, over the top of my head, like all the way down into the side of my head. It's really just not very fun. I took ibuprofen, drank some caffeine, ate some food, took some Tylenol, took some Benadryl because that seemed to help last time. It really dropped me up the balls. But this morning, like last night, I took some uh, stuff before I went to bed and then it was pretty pretty much better, like 75% better when I woke up this morning, and then I forgot my sunglasses this morning, and it was a really bright sunny day, and I feel like that made it worse. How was your day going? Mine was going excellent. It was busy as all get out. Everything is just crazy at work these days. There's a taco truck. That thing is always packed. It's actually just a truck that it sells tacos, and it like comes up if you have the Foursquare app or the Yelp app, or if you like look for a place to eat in your local um, city here in Birmingham. It freaking pops up in the list. Taco truck. It's a freaking truck that sits next to a gas station. You can drive by there during lunch and there will be 30 people lined up outside the truck. I am headed to, I believe I'm headed to my cousin's house to let him get some uh, insanity off of my computer so he can start getting his exercise on and um, hopefully he will be home and I can go give that to him. Bad news is I have two cavities. Whoopsie. That's no good. Um, yeah, I'm really bad about flossing my teeth. Like, it's just a pain. I don't know. I didn't have a cavity ever in my entire life until I was 22 years old. I never really have flossed my teeth. And so I was like, well, don't, why screw up something that's not anything wrong with it. And so then I was like, you know, getting, finishing up college, feeling like I need to be responsible apparently. Started trying to take better care of my teeth and I started flossing and then I got my first cavity. I do not kid you. I was like, well shoot, if I'm gonna get cavities when I floss, I'm, not, I'm gonna keep on not flossing. Apparently I should floss more because I have two cavities between my teeth. The only ones I've ever had, had cavities when I was 22 and then like I had another one when I was 24, another one when I was 26. They've all been between my teeth. Well, what does that tell you that I should be flossing? I know, I know, I know. Nasty hooker, why don't you floss your teeth? Ah, I'm just kidding, I'm not a hooker. Well, except for when Cullen calls me that. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I'm just rambling now, but I'm on my way to meet with Cullen and my cousin because they are, um, Cullen's giving him some CDs, some insanity stuff, and then we're going to just hang out for a little bit because we haven't seen him since Easter, I don't think. So, anyhow, so let's kind of go and do that now. It should be fun. I'm headed up to the third floor. This is going to be the best view of the city that you'll ever see. It's my cousin McShan's apartment. Look at that. I was What's vlogging. Up? What's up, man? Yeah, How are you? I can see you walk up the stairs. Look at this. Freaking view, man. How are you, man? Look at the city out there, guys. 
that is the view we have from this third floor balcony. Uh, Sloss Furnace over there. That's where they um, used to do something. I can't remember exactly what it is. I want to say that's where like they did the iron. Our mascot basically is Vulcan, who is a guy that used to make iron out of the iron ore. Over at Sloss Furnace we do the, uh, they have a haunted house now since it's not in operation anymore. Look who made it to the party! <laughs> it's me! What up? It's me, Katie! Party time! Party time. I just want to just got my teeth clean. Oh uh, yeah, I good. I think it's one of them, but yeah, me it's like... I know they got some chocolate in them. Thank you, sir. Yeah, y'all open up these. Eat these up. Whatever you want. McShane doesn't care about being on YouTube, does he? No, not at all. Not if they have them in them. <laughs> um, I was trying to explain to these guys in this camera here, Sloss Furnace and the origin and history behind it as I was walking you up. You it? I don't know it. It's like the iron ore. Made some steel there for a while. Yeah, Made I mean, some steel. All I know. And now it's a haunted house and a drinking facility. Event location. <laughs> an, there you go, an event location. It's an event location. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Either way. And a wedding reception. We've had a wedding reception there. So, um, yeah, it's gorgeous out there. Just saw some monster lightning. There's that Sloss Furnace, a little better view of it that I was talking about where all the iron was made or steel. Hey, it looks like it is raining over there. Yeah, that's what he said. I think from there. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like rain. All the way to here is rain. That's just crazy how you can see it from here. I saw it. Why I bought it was okay, because it was on sale. My cousin was just talking about uh, this dairy free cheese. Is that what it's called? Dairy. It's. Dairy, lactose. Well, if you're lactose intolerant, it might be a good idea. That's true. Gluten free. Okay. It looks like uh, but Cheetos. Soy free. <laughs> Minus soy the free. cheese. To defend myself, it was on sale. <laughs> it was on sale. The okay, it was on sale. And it, I thought, let me just smell I it. I wonder what. It smells kind of like vomit. Dairy oh. cream cheese <laughs> tastes like. It does smell like um, a little bit of vomit. That, that sick. You guys are not getting any sponsorships from. What's the name of the guy? Right. Gaia. Gaia. Okay, we we sponsor a had, lot of if folks. If you've ever had this, tell us why you like it. You know what that's short for, don't you? Dia? Dia? I'm a die. Yeah. Diarrhea. Di diarrhea. Uh, <laughs> okay, should I taste it? Taste it. Do he said, it. He go, said, please go. don't taste well, let's it. Let's do the dia challenge. I said, don't taste it just because it's going to be a waste of. Uh, oh, has McShan seen the Warhead challenge? We need to show him that. We put up so eight, 18 words on Actually, he's probably tired of watching YouTube videos that you've made him watch. That's a tonight. bad thing about being on YouTube. You get so obsessed with it and enthralled that and you're you just like... And you see somebody you're like, you need You're to like, oh my god, did you see that video of me and say, Carl? Check it out! Okay. You should post that right here, because it was cool. People may not have seen it. <laughs> Seriously. Goes. Seriously. It's right there. Go check it out. It's, it's right awesome there. Go check it out. By the one that when Cullen bit my finger earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Cullen bit my finger. <laughs> Okay, here go. we go. Dairy free. There's no dairy in this. I'm scared. So what is it, like corn? Diarrhea. What's in the ingredients is what I want to know. Um, shall we look? It's a good question. Cheddar shreds are 100% free of preservatives. Thank goodness. Made in a plant free animal ingredients. Milk, egg, soy. They Milk said, is dairy okay. though. It says soy free. Then it says ingredients. Milk, egg, oh, it's, no, sorry, excuse me. Milk, egg, soy, peanuts, and tree nuts free. Okay. Uh, wow. Ingredients, filtered water, tapioca, arrowroot flowers, non-GMO expeller, pressed canola. I'm not even going to read all this. Coconut oil, pea protein, Go, salt. eat it, just eat it. <laughs> So bad. Oh, it tastes like rubber. It tastes like a, oh, does it? It tastes surprisingly like it smells. Does it taste like an eraser? Spit that out. I'm telling you, it's really bad. <laughs> I guess since it's not dairy, it won't smell bad in my trash. Uh, oh, are you throwing it away? Wait, so no, bad. I wanted to taste it. Oh, no, taste I do it. not want to taste it. It tasted Cat like... Cat and Crunk does not eat dairy free. It tasted so like bad. the plastic, you know, okay, you get those um, three ring binders and they have the plastic cover you can stick a picture in. Right. It tastes like the plastic on that. You gotta get that taste in your mouth. Nothing to do with like fruit. Fruit Loops. Loops. By Kellogg. <laughs> By Kellogg. Hello. Oh, I gotta check the upload. Uh, we have got some Domino's Oh you knows If y'all don't mind being on YouTube entourage His here. entourage Andy cheers. If, cheers to Andy If you don't remember cheers Andy Go back and watch Cash Money Bunny She was the one in the blue dress Saying the prayer <laughs> She was not saying the prayer <laughs> She was She was, she was bowing while the prayer was going on Brett Ryer, straight rocking over here. <laughs> Brett in the background He is rocking over there and there I am in the mirror. What's up? There's lots of so yeah. In here. Go show the mirrors in that 
Oh uh, yeah, this is like a 1970s And then we go in here and it's like There's even some type of uh, mechanism in here for laying upside down So anyway, yeah, we're having a good time eating pizza watching the Olympiads Just like any other guy we pull out shirts at the dinner table and we just start talking about cufflinks and how many of y'all own t own dress shirts with the cufflink? Hey, sure you should wear it with his initials. I work from home. Most days I wear sweatpants. <laughs> I wear sweatpants. Today, a nice button up shirt. And I pretend I'm doing the news. <laughs> He's like an Old Spice commercial. He like gets out of the shower and he has the body with the towel underneath and all that. And then and he, the cufflinks. And then he just jumps into the cufflink That's shirt amazing. and all that kind of stuff. I mean, look at this. This dude is pimping. Today I wear sweatpants all day today. I took a shower at 4 o'clock. By the way, can I just point out that... 10 o'clock and I'm, I'm going to get dolled Trey. up. Trey! Cufflink shirt. Watch, Trey Hardy. Woo-woo! Support like Trey Hardy. Oh, look at Trey Hardy! Yeah, Vestavia, what up? Yeah. Vestavia! We're gonna get copyrighted. It's okay, that's it's Eden will tell him it's okay. By the way, can I can I just point out the fact that Is your that mom Eden? Eden is his sister. Your mom that made that painting the competitor. on the wall. Did she make that? Oh no, yeah, she the photo? That. Check this out, guys. This is a photo on the wall over here. And it's here. all metal. And it's all made out of metal plates, exactly. individually. Okay. Made out of metal plates. Look at this. Like, that's one metal plate. And then there's another metal plate. And then there's a third metal plate. But what is it a picture of? They're so cute. I've heard. It's the back window of an old truck sitting out in the woods. So basically, this is glass that has been. Um, <laughs> Aged, so crazy. We're, we're Back crazy. window of a probably a late 30s truck. So it's the glass of a window that's been aged and then uh, duplicated onto metal and then turned into a thing that he just hangs off his wall. Is that not amazing? Like, that is freaking artistic ability. I would charge probably 2500 bucks for that painting. What would y'all charge for it? More. 500 million. 500 million. Three large Domino's pizzas. Easy does it, Tiger. Down the steps we go. Did you show, wait, you should have shown the pretty. Oh, I did. There's a. Let me show you the city lights real quick. It's nighttime now. The rain is gone. Yeah, yeah. It is so good. We got leftover dominoes. We are watching the Olympics. We were watching the Olympics. So Trey Hardy. Trey Hardy, you go, dude. It's really dark. You probably can't see us, but we just wanted to say hello. This well, is two kitty cats. Two kitty cats. Okay, they are gone. Hey, if you guys. If you guys were watching the Olympics, Trey Hardy, he's from where we're from. Trey Hardy is from Alabama. If y'all know Trey Hardy doing the decathlon, then he is from, uh, is he from Alabama? Yeah, he went to school, like, at your rival. Remember? Vestavia, yes. Yeah. He went to school at Vestavia, so Trey Hardy, go boy. You go boy. You go boy. Alright, we are headed to the hizzy for shizzy. 